everybody, it's Sierra, the Artsy Badger, and with it being another Monday, that means we're drawing some more potted puppies. Today we're going to be doing this little husky. Let's get to it! So I'm really excited about this series, and I hope you guys are too. This one, he definitely looks a lot more sad than my previous drawing, so I kind of have a bias for the happy corgi, but I think that it's still really cute and he's got his cute little blue eyes that go so well with the flowers. I don't know, I just think that he's more precious than the corgi. Can you guys guess what the other flowers are going to be for the other puppies? I know you can see them in that first drawing, but can you tell what kind of flowers they are? So for this one, I did hydrangeas because that was one of the better rhyming schemes I could get. I realized that husky hydrangea does not rhyme, but you know, they, they have a similar beat to them, I think. <laughs> This one was definitely challenging because although the last one had lots of tiny little flowers too, at least they were separated in their own individual flowerness. But for this one, they were just big clumps of little flowers. Also, I think I rushed this one in the coloring process a little bit. It causes a lot of the colors to bleed. Maybe it's not that noticeable, but it's kind of noticeable to me. I only noticed it with one part of my corgi. The nose was kind of bleeding, but for this, I feel like a lot of the husky bleeds together. But it's okay. I still think he's cute, and I think it kind of helps blur the line of the fur so that it doesn't look like he's just covered in like solid spots. I decided to go with terracotta pots for all the puppies. I think it was a good idea because I think it helps make the series more cohesive. Coloring in the flowers, although drawing the flowers was not that fun, coloring in the flowers was very fun. I think it turned out really nice. They look so beautiful, they're lilac-y blue color. I'm just a sucker for those cool tones, so I really enjoyed that part. <laughs> And I used like six colors, You or probably more than that actually, seven or eight colors, uh, just for the flowers. I know you probably won't notice, and it was probably unnecessary, but I think it gives that extra sense of dimension. Part of me also wishes that I kept the Husky's white part whiter, but I don't really have a lighter color than what I used. I think in the end it looks fine because everything else around it is dark enough that it still looks pretty light, but in the moment it looked very yellow. <laughs> I think the leaves were my least successful rendering in this piece. Um, I tried to keep the veins present, but they kind of get lost. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Overall, I think it's another successful potted puppy illustration. Oh my gosh, this moment was so frustrating. Ah! My pen, like, stopped working and <laughs> I should have rubbed it beforehand. And then the rest of my signature was so stiff because I had to do it slowly over the spot that, anyway, it was frustrating. 
that's it. Another potted puppy completed. Husky hydrangea. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.